Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to instantly remove the Google FRP lock on the Samsung S20. Now I'm showing you this on the Samsung S20, but this will work on the Samsung S20 Plus, Samsung S20 Ultra, and all other Samsung models as well. This is the official instant Samsung FRP unlock, which is exclusively available only through TechMajesty.com. So as you can see, the phone is FRP locked and is asking for the Google account associated with the phone. To remove the FRP lock, you will need a Windows computer and a USB cable. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. So now we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will place an order for the FRP unlock. We will go to the FRP removal service section, choose the FRP removal service. Then in the phone model option, you will go ahead and enter the model of your phone. Then you will click on the add to cart button and go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email informing you that we are ready to begin the unlocking process for your phone. The email will look like this and say order and closed. The email will contain a download link to the USB redirector, which is basically a software our technicians will use to access your phone and complete the unlock. Our technicians will be on a live chat with you during the entire unlocking process. The whole process will only take about 5 to 10 minutes for our technicians to finish unlocking your phone. All you have to do is plug in your phone to the computer and we take care of the rest. Now I'll show you step by step how the process will work. So this is the USB redirector software I was talking about. The first step will be where our technician will ask you to plug in your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Then step 2 and 3 will involve the technician working on your phone's unlock. Then the final and fourth step will be the FRP Google account being permanently and completely removed from the phone. Now you can access the phone and use it as you normally would. I will now do the final part of the process to remove the FRP lock. I have the phone connected to the computer so give me a second while I do this. Okay so now I have done the final part of the process. So now all I have to do is reboot the phone and once the phone is rebooted then you'll see the FRP will be removed. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn the phone back on. Alright, so now we will go through the normal setup process, but this time you'll notice there will be no FRP lock preventing us from accessing the phone. As you can see, the FRP lock has been removed. I can now fully access the phone. So guys, it's as simple as that to remove the FRP lock on your Samsung phone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.